former President Donald Trump has taken the rare step of deleting a video off of his profile on Truth Social. This is a video that has got him quite a bit of pushback because it mentions things like a unified Reich, an FAFO executive order, as well as violence in the form of headlines mixed in with MAGA messages and Trump pictures. Now, the ad is produced in the style of a fictitious newspaper article about a Trump victory in 2024 and what that means. And uh, I'm, you know, instead of like encouraging people, instead of like, oh, wow, hopeful, look at the great stuff we're going to see in the future. It scared the crap out of a lot of people. Okay, so this included multiple paragraphs of placeholder text from World War One that, you know, somebody, the person who made the video forgot to remove. I guess. Or maybe they didn't forget to remove. So let me show you uh, here. This is a still from it. uh, And you can see industrial strength significantly increased, driven by the creation of a unified Reich. Hmm. Other parts of the video read, it's a landslide. Trump wins. What's next for America? And as I mentioned, the industrial strength and the creation of a unified Reich. Other parts of the ad featured placeholder text about the European great powers. The digging of trenches next to headlines such as border closed, 15 million illegal aliens deported, and peace through strength. So here we go again. Uh, How is it that Trump's campaign keeps getting likened to Nazis? Oh, maybe it's because they're reposting videos that have Nazi stuff in them. (laughs) Can't be a coincidence. (laughs) Look, what's funny about this is that uh, Trump's campaign not only had to distance themselves from the video, but tried throwing an unnamed staffer under the bus. Now, remember, we're talking about Donald Trump's Truth Social account, okay? Trump campaign spokesperson Carolyn Levitt claimed that the staffer, ah, wasn't paying attention. You know, look what happens. Oopsie, oh, I reposted a Nazi video. (laughs) Oh, oops. Wait, what? (laughs) Seriously? Ah, so damn interns every time. You turn your back for two seconds and they're reposting Nazi accounts. What are you going to do? Always messing things up. Making us look like the bad guys. Ah, don't you hate it when that happens? But Well, that doesn't happen to me because I don't, I mean, I don't have Nazi supporters. So I guess I wouldn't know. Now, look, here's the problem with that excuse. Uh, It's it's crap. It's bull crap. (laughs) Complete and utter bullshit. All right. During a true social event at Mar-a-Lago in April, Trump had revealed that only he and his social media director, Dan Scavino, have access to his Truth Social account. You know, it started off with Dan Scavino. I said, Dan, how do you work this thing? And I started dictating. I started my, I began by dictating to Dan and a couple of other people that we had, but they weren't Dan. And I'd dictate something, I'd dictate something, and all of a sudden people started following and then on occasion, like about once every three years, Dan wouldn't be around because he was Ozer. I couldn't get rid of this guy. I call him the most powerful man in politics because he's the only one that has my number. He could say, I don't like you, voters. I don't like you at all. I'm fed up with you. I can't stand you. And that's the end of my political career. Dan's the only one that can do that. Where are you, Dan? Most powerful man in politics, I say. The most powerful. He's the only one that can do it without... I know he can press it. Linda, he's got the number. Even Linda doesn't have it, although I give it to you. I trust you implicitly. I give it to you. But Dan could say something horrible. He could say something very sexually oriented. And that you know would end it, okay? That would end it. Hi, yeah, hey, this guy is the only guy that's got my number. He's got all the access to everything. And if he says bad things, well, then we can get rid of him. Really? Well, um, then who, who reposted the Nazi-esque video then? Uh, because there's other, there's only two choices and it ain't an intern. All right. It's either Trump or Scavino, <laughs> but no, here's the thing. It is Trump. I'm pretty sure he did that. Scavino is probably a lot smarter than that. Uh, Trump isn't. And, tr- and, and here's the other thing. Trump does message testing. Okay. Now, if he says something like outrageous, but it plays or pulls well, then he'll keep doing it. All right. If it doesn't, he'll get rid of it. He'll disavow it and then blame it on somebody else. I think that's what happened here, okay? The thing is, though, 
Nazi uh, sayings and, 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 and imagery actually does really well with Trump fans who are more than happy to be associated with Nazi stuff. So who should have influence in our society? Um, Christian leaders. White Christian men. White Christian men. Interesting. White Christian men. I want to ask you, what issues are at the top of your mind heading into this election? Immigration, 100%. And what do you want to see Donald Trump do on day one to remedy the immigration problem? I want him to become a day one dictator and kick all the illegals out. Interesting. And why? What do you want to see him? Why do you want to see him do that? Well, because these people who are coming here are not assimilating to our traditional American Anglo culture and they are frankly ruining it. They're poisoning the blood of the country. I don't know, man. I'm kind of Nazi to me.